Hi there, this is Marlena. We are going to do a very short video about April 2021. In the center of every home, that energy goes through the entire building. That will also include hotels, motels, uh, restaurants, stores, you name it, okay? Um, the energy coming in for the month of April um, is a feng shui star, which is an argument star. So just think about the energy in the center of every building in the world. Okay, and that star coming in. Last year we dealt with the illness star and the robbery star. The robbery star came in the center of everyone's home. Okay, and that went through the whole year. That has shifted out into another area of the home. Okay, for this year. This update is quick to get you alerted to what is ahead. Okay, so for April, which we are coming into now, arguments, okay, big time. Uh, so what we want to do is stay calm, knowing what's going on for 30 days, okay? You may see um, fights, riots, things like that. Ignore it, stay away from the drama. Um, when your mind wants to argue, just breathe relax, walk away, take a break, all right, take a walk, you know that it is just energy, and you don't want to be in that energy of arguing, there's no point, nobody wins, um, both parties are right in their own opinion, right, um, we all have a right to voice our opinions in a calm way, all right, we of the light, the love, the joy, the peace vibration will not participate in the darkness energy. We came out of that, okay? So stay out of it. If it starts to come towards you through the mail, through the phone, through email, social media, Delete and uncreate. Do not respond. Do not react. Let it go as if it's a cloud passing through. Let it be. That's the center <laughs> of every building in the world. So you know what we're going to see more of. So, you know. <clears throat> Just close your ears and close your eyes to it. All right. Don't even click on the emails when they say something that is negative. Just delete. You know, same thing on your Facebook and Instagram. Delete. You know, we don't deal with any of that. That's not for us. It has nothing to do with us. All right. They want to fight. Let them go fight. We'll give them boxing gloves and a ring. Go ahead. Have fun. All right. Take walks. Go to the beach. Go to the park. Make a garden. All right. Play your uh, music. Um, balance the energy in your own house. Mind your own business. Control your temper. Um, there may be some financial issues this month as well. Um, mm. Stocks, you know, things like that. Things you want to invest in. Uh, it's not really a good idea unless you don't mind uh, losing some money, um, things like that. Uh, you know, oh, wow. So I also want to um, place your attention where the yellow star is on the screen spinning around. That's the money corner. All right. That star that's coming in for April is also joining the affliction already in that area. So, place metal objects there, okay? Uh, white, silver are great as well. Um, 
that is the uh, southwest corner, which is the money corner for, you know, every dwelling, uh, every office, <laughs> every business. Some don't know about this, right? But uh, this is important. Uh, for those of you that follow this channel, there's all kinds of information here and very uplifting videos. So I want you to watch them. This one is like very important. One of the feng shui videos here that I'm doing. There's two others. You, you can watch them. There's one for the whole year telling you uh, what cures to put in place. Okay. We're in a metal year again, the metal ox. All right, it's a little different from last year's energy, but we still have the metal. We still have the, you know, robbery star and the sickness star, you know, and the argument star. And April is all of it. Okay, so I'm giving you a heads up warning. Bells going off here for everyone watching. The um, money corner is going to be afflicted. All right, so with a five and a two star, okay, that is a robbery star and the sickness star, okay, uh, not a good place to sleep if you are elderly or sick or pregnant, all right, not a good place at all um, to hang out in too much, all right, for April, not a good place to hang out, another uh, spot not to hang out for April is up in the um, northwest too much, all right? All fire energy's got to get out of there. That is the breadwinner corner, um, the man's corner. Um, yeah, that corner's afflicted this year as well. All right, now it's being afflicted for April and taking all red items out of there, triangles out of there, all fire energy kind of out of there. Um, usually that's a metal corner. So you want to make sure it's clean, okay, and positive energy flowing through, all right, um, understanding what's going on. Uh, you can place a um, blue elephant and a blue rhino up there in that corner and I suggest that if you have to um, you can go online and get a picture of it and print it out okay the evil eye um, protection is also good all right for that corner and the money corner all right for this year the north um, for April we're gonna get a little bit of a uh, boost in money in that area but that this year that um, sector of the home is afflicted with the um, sickness star so I'm giving you a heads up here very important information okay the south is um, a little calmer and the east is good for studying all right in that area um, now the west group and the east group in the Bagua if you understand that, it would be great to find out where your best locations are for you. All right. So check that out for yourself and uh, learn, okay, where is your best health section for you, right? Where is your best uh, romance section for you? Where is your best money section for you? All right. Because we're all different. We're all beautiful and unique. All right, we're all amazing and awesome. And we're gonna bring some awesome energy into our homes and into our lives, all right? Do not respond, okay? Silence is golden. See the golden star, okay? Silence is golden. As you see on my screen, I brought in some beautiful energy, right? Picture that being your room. Everybody's in chaos all around you, acting up and rioting and screaming and wanting to fight, wanting to call you up and tell you all their drama and try and bring your joy down. And you're just sitting in this beautiful room with me right now, shutting off the world, looking out at the beautiful water, right? 
That's our peaceful place. We come back into our own energy. We hold our peace. We enjoy the time off. This is a good month for solitude. Um, when you're stressed out, get out in nature. We need to get out in nature, get out of the house so much. We need to walk. We need to move. We need to collaborate if you're in business. All right. Um, get somebody that, uh, you know, energetically connects with you and can share great ideas back and forth, assisting each other, starting a new business. If you're going to school, go. All right. If you wrote a book, get it out there, publish it, self publish it. All right. You want to start a business, do it. All right. Anything for this year is move forward. Do not stay stuck. Okay, sitting there waiting for the universe to come down and do something for you. They're waiting for you. All right, you got an angel team. All right, call upon them. Ask them for help. Protect you. All right, guide you. Give you some help and assistance and wisdom. Breathing is wonderful. Deep breaths. You hold it in and you breathe out with sound. All right. Good idea also in your own home, all right? Balance the energy in your own home. Clean it, all right? I put up a cute little video with quick household tips um, a few minutes ago. Back that one up with this one. Make your house smell great. Make it feel great. Make it be your sanctuary, okay? Do not let anybody in your life that does not bring you peace and joy, all right? You must move the old energy out. You must take chances. Yes, we may fall down, bruise our knees, stub our toe, hit our elbow, all right? Wake up in the middle of the night, all right, randomly, but we're gonna be okay. We're gonna move through this energy. So I'll see you on the other side of April with joy in our hearts still. Keep your joy. Keep your peace. Namaste.